Okay, so the formation of tropical rolling storms and depressions. Um, tropical rolling storms are formed roughly between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn, here and here. So conditions for the formation. Sea temperatures of 27 degrees or more, and this stimulates evaporation and the rising of air through the atmosphere. Light converging trade winds in the lower atmosphere. Latitudes of between roughly 5 and 20 degrees, uh, more than uh, 5 or more, so the Coriolis effect is strong enough to cause a rotation of the air, and less than 20, so the ocean temperatures are warm enough. And finally, at least 50 metres depth to provide a plentiful supply of water vapour. Formation. We have clusters of thunderstorms developing over the ocean. Uh, these then develop an anti-clockwise spin, uh, for example in the Northern Hemisphere, um, and this is the Coriolis effect taking place. Air heated, uh, the surface of the ocean becomes unstable and begins to rise. This rising air cools and condenses, releasing latent heat in the process, which fuels the storm. Uh, warming atmosphere, making it more unstable, gives more low pressure. The surface air is sucked towards the centre of the storm. So, converging warm moist air is coming in from the bottom of the storm and rising up with low pressure. Um, this is fueling the storm as it carries the water vapour. When the air gets to the top, um, around the tropos pores, 30,000 feet, um, and cools and condenses, uh, it becomes heavy and falls uh, and then is heated again. Uh, when it gets to the bottom and rises again and this gives columns of high pressure and low pressure outwards from the eye wall as you can see here uh, high and low pressure air rising and falling and there's the eye wall there another nice diagram uh, you get these big cumulonimbus clouds um, where you get the rise rapidly rising air this is how a depression is formed uh, there's two ways it can happen. You can have a, a cold um, meeting warm, a cold front leading uh, a cold air mass, which is heavy and dense. And this will come in and undercut relatively warm air mass, already over the UK, for example. Uh, the less dense, warmer air is forced up over the cold air mass. And this creates an area of low pressure where it rises, cools and condenses, bringing clouds and rain. You can get tall cumulonimbus clouds, I was just saying, here as air is rising rapidly, also bringing winds and potentially thunderstorms. Uh, the second way a depression is formed is warm air meeting cold. So you can have a warm front meeting a cold air mass, uh, currently sitting over the UK for example. Um, this basically glides over the cold dense air mass, so rises less rapidly at a more gentle pace. Warm air actually pushes against the cold air mass, moving it out of the way uh, as it rises. There are more spread out rainstorms uh, as the air rises and cools and condenses. Eventually, when cold and warm air mixed, you get an occluded front. So here, this this diagram here, you've got um, cold meeting warm, where you have a, a cold front, and here, uh, this is what happens when warm meets cold, you get these are sort of clouds you get and the kind of conditions. Okay, this is what a depression looks like on a weather map. So the L's represent, representing low pressure there. Um, depressions are very common in the UK. We lie between the polar and feral cells roughly where the polar front jet stream is found and this depends obviously on the time of year and other factors. Um, such as where the ITCZ is. Uh, it drives uh, in low pressure systems from the Atlantic, uh, talking about the polar front jet stream here. Uh, our wind, our prevailing wind is southwesterly, so most, our most common air mass is the tropical maritime, and this contains moisture as it's going over the ocean. And this is why we get a lot of rain. Alright, thank you for watching, and be sure to check out my other revision videos.